Good morning. Y'all sit down, take a rest. You know what I just did? I just spilled my coffee all over the floor. So it's empty, but I'm going to talk anyway. We're going to look on the bright side. I'd already had a cup anyhow, so I don't need it. So what I want to do is tell you what <laughs> scripture I've got for today. And I kind of think God is trying to remind me that he is our refuge. But it says, Psalms 46.1, God is our refuge and strength, our ever-present help in trouble. I'll get me a cup of coffee later. My coffee cup is empty. As I was starting to do something and talk to y'all, I got a phone call, and I had to shut it down. So this is about the third or fourth time I've started to talk to y'all this morning. I'm going to hang in there. I was so disgusted the other day with that one where I showed y'all my car. See, I got an empty coffee cup. It poured right into my carpet, and being as the carpet is the way it is on top of concrete, it's not even going to make a spot. <laughs> now, that's the bright side. <laughs> empty coffee cup. I had one already, and I had drank half of it. So it's not a complete loss. We do the best we can with what we got. And I got another verse here that I like. Blessed is the man. This is James 1.12. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to us. Now, isn't that a good one? And I tell you what, I really like this iPhone, the way I can just look up good scriptures. It's amazing the time we live in. And I'm thankful for it. So we look on the bright side and we continue on. And I have been thinking, my new earrings, Thrifty Living, Mrs. I can't remember her name. I was going to look her up too and I forgot about it. But she has been shouting me out. And she is one sweet lady. And uh, we've made friends, and I call her friend now. So let me see if I can find her. I'm looking. See if I can remember her name. Sorry about that, chickadee. That's what I call a lot of people. Chickadees. Let's see. I'm looking. Oh, I don't see it. But anyhow, she does thrifty living which is a really smart thing. Let me see. I've, I've got her here. And uh, Mrs. Peach. See, right there, she's on my subscriptions. <laughs> so, But she's a sweet lady, and I just enjoy her. And she was shouting a bunch of people out yesterday. You might look at her show and see who that is. I checked uh, one or two of them out. But, honey, I don't have time to watch everybody. But I like to look at them once in a while, and that's what I do. And, of course, 967 Andy who helps me with all my stuff of, that I, I don't know how to do. He's going to help me uh, learn how to put writing on my YouTube. You know, like he can put, like he was fishing with gizzards. You ought to look at that one where 967 Andy was fishing with gizzards. And he's got in big old letters, gizzards right across the front. And I want to learn how to do that. I don't want to put gizzards, but I want to put, God only knows what I want to put. <laughs> Oh, that Mrs. Uh, Peach uh, sure has some cute earrings. And I watch hers. I don't know where she, she's got holes in her ears, though, and I don't. I have to make sure I get clip-ons. And I have been finding some pretty ones at these churchyard sales. And a lot of these senior citizens are getting them some new ones because a lot of them got their ears pierced. And I'm not doing that anymore. No way, Jose. That's another old saying we used to say. <laughs> no way, Jose. I went to get coffee this morning. James wasn't feeling too good, but he's he's over his bad cold pretty good. They did discover he did not have um, COVID. He did not have... They tested him for mono because he was so tired, and he's got COPD, so they did lung to see if he had pneumonia. He did not have... He did not have the flu. He just had a bad cold and he hadn't had a bad cold in years and so what we're doing 
you know, Grandma Lois, Dr. Grandma Lois is here. I increased his turmeric. Now, I had arthritis checking up, uh, bothering my hip a year or so ago, and I went to the doctor. And anyhow, the doctor said, now, arthritis is inflammation. So you want to take Advil three times a day, two yeah, small Advil, three times a day for a week or two. I hope nobody interrupts me again. I've had interruptions. This is about the fourth time I've started to share with y'all. That's life. We keep on keeping on. I'm treating my feet. See, here, <laughs> let me put this up. Well, I can't get it. I can't get it that high. That's life. <laughs> but I got these things on the bottom of my feet and I run them for 30 minutes. I was going to tell you all about how when I was 13 years old, going to Fredericksburg School, and uh, I have had both arms broken. And the, when I was six years old, I fell off of a seesaw when we was living up in the mountains of Virginia. You are to watch those when we lived on the Skyline Drive and in a little, like a house that was pulled on sled runners. Daddy worked for... Um, the construction company that was built in the Skyline Drive. And me and another little girlfriend was who, her parents were also pulled around on one of them. And the famous words was this, when, as we went out the door to go to the toilet, which was in the woods, mom said, watch for snakes. Well, let me tell you, there was rattlesnakes and copperheads up in there. And we watched for snakes, that's for sure. So when I was 13, and we was in Fredericksburg, Indiana, in a three-room schoolhouse. There was, you know, like 20 kids to each class. And so we had outside a, a pump where you got your water. And they had a, a bucket hanging on the pump and a dipper. And it would somebody would keep the bucket full of water when we was there. But one day, and there was concrete all around the bottom of it, so I went out to get me a drink of water and I slipped on the ice. It was a it was a cold day. And I slipped on the ice and I broke my left arm right between the elbow and the wrist. And it was almost like this the bones were gonna be sticking out. It was a bad break. Bad break. So somehow or other they got in touch with my daddy. And he we live three miles from the school out in the country. I tell you what, I don't like country living. I like city living. I like city living for sure. The Walmart, Myers, Aldi's, Walgreens, CVS, all those other things we have need of. And even when I had to take James to the urgent care yesterday, which that's where we went and got all those tests and everything was clear, except he does have the arthritis, which I put him on Advil. Advil, is a, if it's a coated and you take that for three times a day for a week or so and your 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 inflammation goes away and I increased his turmeric to two a day instead of just well morning and evening he was just taking two a day and I doubled his dosage turmeric is what healed me but one time I got some inflammation a little bit in a one hip and I went to the doctor and she said take Advil for a week or so and then it'll go away and it did wonderful so now where was that oh yeah this broken arm so i did remember some things i remember so anyway daddy came and he put me in the pickup truck and we went to new albany indiana that had a hospital and doctors and stuff but he took me to the it was so bad the doctor took me promptly to the hospital and that doctor was so nice and he's the one that operated on me when i was 16 years old and said I'd never have any babies. You ought to look at those old um, stories I told of my life, the miracles that God has done for me. There's a lot of them and it's still happening. So anyhow, the doctor took, he, he looked at it. He was in his office. He says, I can't set it here. It's too bad. So they took me to the hospital, which was right across the street. And they gave me that stuff that knocks you out, chloroform. It was awful, but they had to because it would have been so painful to set. But they got it set, and I went home with Daddy. And ever since, I don't want chloroform anymore.
thank you, Jesus, I don't ever, they've got really good stuff now, but back in that day, what was 80, well, 75 years ago, I don't know, a long time, I'm not good at math. I hope this isn't loud enough. I've got my hearing aids on today. And if it's not too loud, I don't know what to tell you. I'll listen at it and see if I can hear it. What I'll do is check it out before I upload it. But anyway, I went home. Daddy took me home. And I was fine. Except, don't you know, a few days later, me, my brother, my little sister, we all came down with chicken pox. Now, if you've got chicken pox and your arm is itching way up in there in that cast that you can't take off for six weeks, I was hunting things that I could stick up that thing to itch my arm because it itched so bad. Rulers, a, a foot ruler was pretty good to go up in there and scratch. <laughs> but that's what happened. Of course, it got well after six weeks, but we all had the chicken pox and we was out of school because you can't go to, but chicken pox was a, a, something that a lot of kids got when I was little. And then they started coming around to the schools and we got our vaccinations. We got vaccinations for measles, whooping cough, and I don't know what all, smallpox. It's been a long time ago, but they would come to the schools and the nurses traveled from school to school with the, with the stuff to give you your vaccinations and you got your vaccinations. Don't you like this picture up here? That is so pretty. I got two like that. And I says, well, I'm going to hang that. And I've got another one almost the same way that give three other flowers different directions, but I can only hang one. I love flowers. I really do. I was outside this morning at my house and I see my tomato plants are going bye-bye because frost is expected this week. So I got to get them pulled up, get them out of the way, and plant next year. I'm looking forward, and I'm going to tell you all that hang on to the end here. I'm going to tell you how disgusted I was yesterday with that video I made of outside on the deck, on the patio, showing y'all all, all our stuff which that James brings in and hangs on walls everywhere. And, of course, I showed you my pretty Buick, and I was proud of that. I'm proud of that car. But I was not, I looked awful. You you could, oh, I don't look good on that side. I don't look, I look good on my iPad, my big iPad. And I know that. So I'm not doing that anymore. Ha, ha, ha. No, Grandma's going to look nice for y'all. And I'm going to work on it. I have always primped and tried to do the best I can with what I got. And I always said that if these transvestites, bless their heart, that want to look like a woman, a man that wants to look like a woman, dress like a woman, and put false, you know what? Surely a grandma can wear a wig. Of course, I don't wear any makeup. And earrings and cute things to look attractive. And when you look in the mirror, it don't make you depressed. I had a girlfriend that wore wigs, and she didn't wear it around the house. She says, I don't wear my wig around the house, and I don't sleep in it or anything. Well, I don't sleep in mine, but I don't want to take it off around the house because I might pass a mirror, and if you look in a mirror without your wig on, honey, you look like a peeled onion because I've got a pixie hair. Now, I still got hair, but I keep it cut real short, and I look like a peeled onion without my wig because my head's not that in that great a proportion it don't suit me now i used to be an artist and paint and i'm going to take painting up again somebody said the other day i showed i did have on the front of my ipad an abstract i did and it's real pretty and i still have a copy of one of them uh, that i painted at that time and i'm going to do me some abstracts woo 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 that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. See, I bought all these paints and stuff, and I was going to start doing landscapes again. Forget that. I don't have it anymore. If you've got it, you've got it. And if you don't, you don't. That's life. See, life is seasons. It comes and it's gone. So I, I don't have the touch for doing landscapes anymore. 
but anybody can do abstracts. We'll see how that goes. I'll show them to you when I get them done one of these days. I got me an easel. I've got the canvases already pre-finished, ready to go. You know, like 12 by 14, 12 by 16, something like that. And just not real big ones. And that ought to be fun. But if I get done watching all these other people that are on YouTube, 967 Andy has helped me again, and I want him to do this. He put on a thing where he went fishing with gizzards. Now, you ought to look at that one, 967 Andy. And he had written across his YouTube gizzards in real big fishing with gizzards or something. And I really liked his YouTube, uh, what he put on that little short. And it's not real long. And the way he can just write text and do different stuff. And Mrs. Peach can do the same thing. But I got to find out how to do it. So Andy said there is a app that you can get that you can do that. And a lot of my, the YouTubers are doing it. And here I've been into it now over a year. And I'm just now catching on. I may be a little slow, but once I catch on, I can learn how to do it. So anyhow, Andy's going to tell me which one I need. He told me at the funeral we went to the other day when his dear mommy passed away, and we had her funeral, and it was a lovely funeral. She was 84, and she was a wonderful woman, wonderful Christian woman, and she raised Andy Wright and his her other children, and they were all there, and I got to meet Andy's family, which I hadn't. James and Andy have been friends 25 or 30 years. He was on the scene before I was ever on the scene. But he's going to show me how to do that. So y'all be watching for that, okay? When I learn how, then I don't want to put gizzards, but there are other stuff that I would like to fit, put up. Don't know what it is right now. That's the fun of living. You don't know what's going to happen next, and you hope it ain't somebody getting sick or something, like James getting over this bad cold. We thought, sure, he had COVID. But you know, he had never had a fever or anything, and he didn't want to eat. But they say when you get a cold, feed a cold and starve a fever. He didn't want to eat either, but now he's eating again. So it's okay. God bless y'all. I'm going to hang up. I hang up. <laughs> I am going to shut down. And I have some pretty glasses right here that I can put on right quick. See that? Yeah. Isn't that cute? For y'all that hang on to the end, you never know what I'm going to do next. And I don't know either. So God love you. Walk that path where Jesus would be pleased with you. And I'm working on it. I tell you, sometimes we just kind of have to work on it. But when you make a mistake, remember this. Now, where's my Kleenex? I got to get a Kleenex. Mm -hmm. Now, my nose is going to start running like a creek, I hope. Because that's what James's was doing. And somebody commented on it. It was. It was running like a creek. But I gave him an histamine too. Dr. Lois. Dr. Grandma Lois is on the scene. But anyway, if you, if you kind of fall off the path, just remember. You can always rededicate yourself back to the Lord if you mean it. And he knows it. So you just ask him to truly forgive you. And... You don't have to go to church to do it. You can do it anywhere. And he will do it. He knows your heart. He hears you. So let's just do the best we can with what we got. And if we make a mistake, make it right right away. Don't wait around. You might be called to glory and be in a bad shape. Hell is real. Heaven is real. I'll see you all up there. Lord willing. And I'm praying because you know I'm 91. Who knows? But you know that's true with any age. You don't know when you're going to be gone from this life. But there's an eternal life. And I was thinking about our heavenly home. And we, the Bible says we cannot even imagine. It has not entered into the heart of man what lies before us. Y'all can look that up. Okay, God bless you. So long.